Hello, welcome to Let's Rap. I'm your host, Derek Carr. I have my beautiful co-host, Lisa Crutcher Thurman, mm -hmm. Ebony Ingram Jones, Hello. and this is Let's Rap, where we work on righteous and just processes. We just talk about a regular topic, and then we talk it out what we think, our thoughts uh, from a Christian perspective. So today, we're gonna dispel a myth as Christians sometimes would disagree with and some would agree. So I'm gonna save the topic and then we're gonna wrap. So it's okay to be angry. Mm -hmm. I agree. That's it. So mm -hmm. let's wrap. Um, I guess, well, let me start with you, Ep. So what is your thought process on being angry and being a Christian? What have, what, what, hmm. what myths are, are we dispelling right now? For me, I think I understand the importance of making sure you keep control of your anger. Absolutely. Like I fully understand um, that anger is a part of life. Anger is an involuntary reaction. Yes. You know, it's it's just yes. it happens, right? Because of just we're human. We're you know we're we're wired up in a way that we just like we get sleepy or we get sad. We, get we can get angry. Things oh, can yeah. make you angry. So it's very very natural. And I think where a lot of Christians mess up is they believe that if you get angry, then some kind of way you are far removed from Christ or His ways. And that's simply not true. But what I do know about anger um, is that it can get you in trouble yeah. if you're not. Um, careful with it. Be honest about your anger um, with me and I sometimes need some space to just be angry. But you got to know yourself. Yeah. I know if I'm angry, give me my time and my space there because yeah. I need to do everything that angry people do. But you have to um, self-reflect and um, be accountable for whatever you do in your anger because who hasn't done something crazy when they were angry? Absolutely. Right? Sometimes so you regret it. Yeah. Lisa, your thoughts on anger? <clears throat> well, first thing come to my mind was even Jesus got angry yeah. when he went in there and tumbled the over. Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 So I felt like it was okay to get angry <laughs> and go tear up some stuff. But <laughs> I now know that that was extenuating circumstances. Yeah. And I like you, you want to have constructive ways. Yeah. Now, I'm one to reflect inward. Cause there's an off chance that it could be me mm -hmm. you know if I'm upset with somebody right. or mm -hmm. something that's happened yeah. and I don't know because of COVID I'm giving everybody the benefit of the doubt yeah he, I mean waitress not kind to you mm -hmm. the guy cut you off when well, he had to get somewhere in a hurry somebody's sick or something mm -hmm. I'm giving everybody the benefit of the doubt and not taking it personal because mm -hmm. huh, first of all ain't got nothing to do with me I learned that a long time ago mm -hmm. you have to decide what's for you in fact, you upset and mad, it ain't got nothing to do with me. Mm -hmm. I'm good. And not try not to internalize it Everything, so much. Everything, yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. So I want to dispel a myth because the way to do it, especially when you're talking to Christians and people that are not Christians as well, um, I'm going to use the word to dispel the myth. So Proverbs 16 and 32 says, he who is slow to anger is better than mighty. Mm. And he who rules his spirit than he who takes a city. So it's not about being you're more mighty if you can control yourself oh. versus being angry or versus being strong mm -hmm. and destroying the city. But if you can control yourself, the word says that you are more mighty mm -hmm. than the person who might be stronger than you. Mm -hmm. So then let me give you another one, if you don't believe me. Ephesians 4 and 26, be angry. So it's telling you, yeah. be angry. Mm -hmm. But it says, and do not sin. Mm -hmm. So be angry, comma, and do not sin. Mm -hmm. So it's okay to be angry, but don't sin in the midst of your anger. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people, we do the opposite of that. So then it goes on to say, do not let the sun go down oh, yeah. on your wrath. Mm. So that means if you're angry at your spouse oh, or someone you care about, take some time, but don't take too much time. So it's not really saying in the midst, I know a lot of people say, well, I'm not gonna let the sun go down. Well, sometimes I'm still upset. Mm -hmm. So sometimes the sun does have to go down physically, but what they're saying to me, when I read that, the interpretation says, be angry and do not sin. Do not let the sun go down on your wrath. Mm -hmm. So don't stay mad so long that you I can't like come that. back from I it. I like that. So don't stay so mad so long that you can't come back from it. And that's what a lot of people do. They wow. get so mad and they have to wow. remind themselves, they nurse it, they curse it, they rehearse it. They just keep in the cycle mm -hmm. instead of dispersing it 
and letting it go and then let God reverse it. Right. So that's what you have to do in order to get over I something. Like that. I like you know, because a lot of times when we're mad, we don't even remember what we was mad about. Oh, I, 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 I remember. I remember. <laughs> I remember. <laughs> and, 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 so, and see, and sometimes, you, and, and I know you say that, and I know you, you if something really upsets you, I get it, but mm -hmm. I, I, I've had fights with people that I care about, mm -hmm. our arguments, our disagreements, and I'm not an arguer. Mm -hmm. You know, I tease everybody all the time. You don't I have fun with the best of them, but I I am not an arguer. Mm -hmm. I do not like it. I think it's counterproductive. I don't think it changes or helps any situation. Mm -hmm. And I just feel like as being a rational person, if it's something I'm doing that's upsetting you or bothering you, let's have a conversation. Correct. Because I feel like more will be taken care of right. if you do it that way mm -hmm. right. than to argue. And you're and right. Then you say things you don't mean. Mm -hmm. You say things you can't get back. And then you're apologizing for something when you could have just dispelled it in the first place. Mm -hmm. You know what? I'm not going to argue. Let's just talk later. I see you're upset. Mm -hmm. Let's just talk later. Mm -hmm. There's no, we're going to talk to right that. now. And, but you can't do that. No, see. You now can't do that. I was you can't do that. I've been learning that. Right. I've well, learned see, and the it. reason why I say you can't do that because you might be ready to talk, right. but that person may not right. be ready to talk. And the fact of the matter is, Derek, because I'm like that, uh -huh. the fact of the matter is, you too may not be ready to talk. Absolutely. You just, just want to talk. Out. You right. just ready to, uh, uh. no, sis, sit down. Right. You're right. not ready because you are not able to articulate thoughts outside of your anger. Yes. You need to chill. You need to, and that's what I don't do. I mm -hmm. am a, because once I, especially with when I'm in relationship with people, mm -hmm. I don't really get mad. I get mad at my kids. Now that's, mm -hmm. you know. <laughs> right. right. If I, if I get home and them dishes ain't done, I'm going to be mad today. Okay. Anyway, but with friendships, uh, I do, but it's not like a grudge type thing. Okay. Right. If okay. I get to holding a grudge, it it was, you know, it was right. a deep, deep thing. But I don't do that because I want to talk about it then. But it's like, Eb, you may not need to do that right now because right. you're full of anger. You're yeah. full of ego and pride and yeah. you gonna show somebody before they show you Absolutely. you just need to you know step back and another reason i don't like to argue and that was a good point but another reason i know i don't like to argue it's a combination of things so mm -hmm. i told you in the earlier shows this season i talked about my love language was the words of affirmation yeah right so because i am I need words of affirmation to affirm me. Mm -hmm. I don't take it well when the opposite is done. Okay. Yeah. So when someone is talking down to me, like that it. I curl up in a fetal oh, position and it wears me you. out. Yeah. And it just makes me yeah. feel like less of a person. Mm -hmm. I don't, it hurts. It, it really hurts me to mm -hmm. the core. Mm -hmm. Now, somebody can just go and hit me and, and we can just go and fight, <laughs> be done with it. But if someone talks to me and says mm -hmm. something disheartening to me and it, it just tears me up. Mm -hmm. okay. And I think when when you know who you are right and when you know then you know what not to do absolutely. so that's why I'm not an arguer okay. because don't I like don't it. want that done to me absolutely I so do. and when I say that mm -hmm. it's just easier when you enter a relationship with your friends your loved one someone you're dating or whatever it's always good to know that person and who you're talking to right. mm -hmm. so it's okay to be angry but then like some of the points that we want to talk about tonight I'm gonna come right back okay. to your point but one thing you you have to take a time out Mm -hmm. Wow. You have to take a time out. Well, that goes right with what I wanted to say. And I want to write things down because I need to see it. And I will write down my point of view, the, what I used to do to my students. Okay, I want you to write down what happened, why it happened, what you could have done different to get, a, you know, if the student's in trouble, to have a different outcome. Mm -hmm. Where did it go wrong? What happened? Mm -hmm. And what should have, what you feel should have been done and what would you do different next time? Mm -hmm. I like to reflect on it because there's a chance it could be me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Off chance, but it could be me. Derek, you said something, and it was, I don't know if you understand how sweet it was to hear you say, <laughs> because I don't, you're not a necess, you're not a sensitive person at no. all, no. but it makes <laughs> sense. You said, no. my love language is words of affirmation, so when the opposite happens, it hurts me. Right. And it didn't hit me because what was what did I say about words of affirmation? That's my it's least, least right, favorite right, love language. Right. So I don't care what you got to say to Absolutely. me. But I then used the worst, uh -huh. most venomous, most mm -hmm. caustic words yeah. 
to talk to people. To retaliate, and yeah. I'm not even thinking because words don't really affect don't me mean like that. To you. Wow. But that doesn't mean they don't affect my friend that Absolutely. way. Exactly. Absolutely. So I thank you for saying well, that, that. And that's I never, why I said yeah. you have to know who you're dealing with, Absolutely. And who you're talking to, and the conversation you're having. So it said take a time out. And then one thing I'm gonna steal something from Lisa used at one of the earlier shows is think before you speak. So mm -hmm. I'm gonna go a step further. Instead of just physically thinking. Is it truthful? Mm -hmm. Is it helpful? Mm -hmm. Is it inspiring? Is it necessary? Is it necessary? And is it kind? <laughs> right. So if you run that through right. the think across it mm -hmm. before you even speak, and if it doesn't yes. register yes. or if it doesn't meet that criteria, how about you just calm down? Mm -hmm. Go to another room Don't and just move it. on because it's not time to talk Cause yet. Because it, it'll ha catch you up every time at that end. Yeah. Is, is it, it necessary? necessary? It could be true. Yeah. But, but is, is it necessary? It necessary? Right. You go bringing up stuff how long yeah. time mm -hmm. ago. Then you start it's talking about necessary. my mama and all it's that kind of stuff. That's not necessary. And Absolutely. And then with that, we have to be careful because when you start digging up stuff that Ooh, people have done, what if they did that to you? Mm-hmm. What if they did that to you? And so one of the things, and I'm not saying nowhere near arrived, I don't understand, but relationships, I do well. Mm -hmm. And they don't always do me well, but <laughs> right. I do them well. Correct. And mm -hmm. I have learned that there is a fair way to fight. Okay. Certain things are off limits. Mm -hmm. Stick with I statements. I feel that when you said that, that hurt my feelings. Mm -hmm. Don't say you always talk crazy to me. Always should never come up in an argument. Or never. Are never. Those are our stay away words because nobody never does anything always mm -hmm. and nobody ever does anything all the time. Mm -hmm. And uh, are they never do something. Yeah. So you have to stay away from those words. So that's part of the thing I was talking about fighting fair. Mm -hmm. It's the same thing with arguing and being upset and being angry. You control your responses. Mm -hmm. No, you cannot control what someone does to you. However, you do control the way you respond. That's right, yeah. And self-control is one of the fruits of the spirit. Amen. And it's there for a reason. Mm -hmm. It's there with joy, love, mm -hmm. peace, kindness, yes. and self-control. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. That God, mm -hmm. He put it there for a reason. Yeah. There, uh, you have to control yourself. Yeah. Wow. And once you reach that plateau mm -hmm. of controlling, it said it's mightier. Yes, it is. Than someone that's able to can mm -hmm. destroy a whole city wow. by controlling yourself, yeah. guarding yourself. Mm -hmm guarding your tongue, controlling what you say, you have more control than you give yourself credit for. That's true. Instead of saying they and always get on my nerves, like always, you said, yeah. put yourself in there. Maybe it's me. Right. Mm -hmm. You know, sometimes maybe it's me. And I'm not saying be weak by any means. That's really? not what I'm saying. But if you're going to say something, let it be substantial. Let it be of some substance. Mm, right. Let it be for a reason. Let right. it be to make someone better or let it be to identify the anger. Correct. Hey, when you do this, I don't like that. Mm -hmm. Right. When you okay. say that to me, I don't like that. Mm -hmm. You know, it's okay it to be feelings. honest yes. with it. It hurts my feelings. Yeah. yeah. What do you think about saying, because you were saying use I statements. What, what, is, what are your thoughts on people saying in relationships or in conversations like that? If I look at you and I say, you are very selfish. Well, I would say, number one, that is very accusatory. Okay. And that's not giving me an opportunity to respond. Okay. When you're saying you are very selfish, mm -hmm. you've cut all my responses off. Mm -hmm. But when you say I feel mm -hmm. that you are selfish about this situation, be specific. Okay. When you do this, mm -hmm. I feel like you're selfish. Mm -hmm. And so that's the type of things that we should say to one another because number one, it gives me an opportunity to respond. Mm -hmm. Then number one, it gives me a chance to say, okay, give me a chance to think about it. Mm -hmm. But when you come off accusatory, I instantly become off. defensive. Mm -hmm. I haven't heard anything you said, mm -hmm. but the negative comment. Mm -hmm. So it's, that's part of fighting fair mm -hmm. is learning what to say. So look, we're gonna take a quick break and we'll be right back with you. Uh, so, and we'll come back with Let's Wrap, how to be angry. <laughs> and it's okay. It's all right. <laughs> Hi, I'm Minister J. Renee Williams, the host of the program Real Talk with J. Renee. Real Talk with J. Renee, where we discuss controversial topics right here on SSC Live TV. So please be sure to join us every week on demand, sclivetv.com. 
This is SSC Live TV. It's TV our way. Welcome back to Let's Wrap. We just came back from our commercial break. We was having great dialogue. So we're gonna just pick it right back up. So let's wrap again. So we were talking about, Ebony asked the question, you know, if you say something specific and you stay away from I statements, how how does that, you know, how does that affect the situation? And I kind of explained it and was just saying, you know, you, you don't want to be accusatory, number one. You don't want to cut off someone's uh, ability to respond. Uh, and if you really want to discuss something that's bothering you, if you really want that issue fixed, then you should give that person the opportunity to truly respond to what you're asking. If you don't, then you have to almost think about, well, what are your reasons? Right. Why are you really asking? Mm -hmm. You know, are you trying to hurt the person? Are you trying to, you know, because one thing that I did teach on the show a couple, I think it was last season, and we talked about the difference between hurt and harm. Oh, yeah, that oh, was this yes. season. Mm -hmm. So hurt is when you purposely set out mm -hmm. to do what Ebony says she does when she argues. Uh, <laughs> no. <laughs> no, it's when you purposely set out to wound or uh, tear down someone. Mm -hmm. But to harm someone is, you know what? It could have been something that you said that you always say, but they could have had a bad day. Maybe right, something happened right. to them. Maybe something else is going on with them. And that particular day when you said the same thing you've always said, it, it, it harmed them. Mm -hmm. yes. So yes. that's the difference when you don't set out and it's not intentional. Mm -hmm. uh, so we need to learn all those things. And I said, that's why it's important that you shouldn't just date anybody. No. You know, mm -hmm. we can't really pick our family. We get that. And we know we've grown, we've grown up with them. We know how that works. That's just but you, when it comes to dating and when it comes to friends, because mm -hmm. you oh, can't yes. pick them as oh, well. Yes. It should not be toxic. Correct. And you know, we've Correct. all been in toxic relationships, whether it being, you know, a physical relationship or, you know, a relationship with someone you were dating or whether it be just a friendship, a platonic mm -hmm. friendship. Um, it should not hurt. It should not, you know, hurt your be feelings. Work. It should mm -hmm. not be work. Right. Mm -hmm. And then you shouldn't be like, if you got a story guessing, is this what love really yeah. is? Chances that's, are yeah, that's, not not <laughs> that's not the person for you. That's not the person for you. So it helps you identify the people that you are around and mm -hmm. people that you spend time with. And I guess what I've learned in 43 years, we don't get a lot of time here. No. Mm -hmm. Love is, when you have an opportunity to love and if you find something that works and it's working, but it might be a few things that that person don't right. do well, think about what you don't do well. Mm -hmm. That's the 80-20. Right? Yeah, it's so definitely, yeah, and that is real. I, I, like my savior, I do all things well. <laughs> 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 and that was a joke. That was definitely a joke. So, definitely. Yeah, I mean, but definitely, you, you just really have to think about what you do. Think right. about how you respond. Absolutely. Think about who you are. Your and you, your same shortcomings mm. and everything. So another point is, while the last one was uh, stick with I statements, talk about what that physically say it when you do something. Because what that does is helps them own. You're owning, number one, your anger. Mm -hmm. Okay. And you're owning what makes you angry mm -hmm. or what hurts you. And then you're making them either answer you or take ownership mm -hmm. of why they're doing that okay. when they know how it makes you feel. Wow. So that's why you can't say you never do this, uh -huh. you always do this, you know, you shouldn't do this, you know. Mm -hmm. You tell them, look, when you do this specific thing, that hurts my mm -hmm. feelings. Okay. That doesn't feel good. Mm -hmm. Please stop doing that, mm -hmm. you know. So take ownership of it and tell them and make them take ownership mm -hmm. of the response and the reaction that they give you. Um, this is hard for a lot of us. Don't hold a grudge. Now, since I was a little kid, you know, I got teased all the time because I don't know how to hold a grudge. Mm -hmm. Just like little kids do, mm -hmm. they fight one minute, the next minute, they exactly. best friend. Yeah. That's just yeah. always been my stick. Yeah. <laughs> just, you know, right. I don't, I, I don't. Know. Mm -hmm. it, to me, it takes too much energy. Yeah. I have to remind myself, oh, I'm at it. I'm at it. Mm. Right. Uh-huh. <laughs> well, that's me. Uh, oh. With yeah. the memory issues. Yeah. <laughs> I have to write it down. And see, wait a minute, hold on. It seems like I'm supposed to be angry. <laughs> <laughs> right. Okay. And you go back, and that's a good yeah. thing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. I'm not a grudge holder. Yeah. But I'm that's because that. I'm not a grudge holder. I'm glad to hear that. At all. But that's because I'm very confrontational, and I feel like Get it out. a lot yeah. of me getting it okay. out is okay. what keeps me from okay. holding a grudge. Okay. That's you know, so I'm not a grudge holder. I'm if if people are open to dialogue and and talking about it, I'm pretty Arguing much about good. It. Which can be a fault. Right. It really can be. Well, and then it makes sense. You're going to be a lawyer, 
So you're supposed to have those. Yeah. I mean, that kind of goes say, with your... You all, the more and more I go, lawyering, most of it is not necessarily litigation and ah, going back and forth. No. No, it's all about finding Stay a middle back. ground. Yeah. Okay. It's all about negotiation. Yeah. It's, okay. it's mm -hmm. not about... Nobody wants to go to court. Nobody. It's wow. expensive. It's time consuming. It's extremely stressful. You got to prepare to be yes. in there for, you know, however long. If you all can hash it out before in mediation or allow your attorneys to, you know, negotiate on your behalf, that's the best route. And any good lawyer, that's what he's going to do go for, for you. Right. They're not, they're not going to push for trial because it's Cause, a headache. And yeah. it's all about the right words. Absolutely. It's already know what to say. And that's why you study to show yourself approved. Mm -hmm. You know, Whoa. you have to know and study like those that. things like to that. know what's coming up. So, you know, hey, well, in this case, such and such, such and such. Yeah. So, you know, it's all about proving yourself and studying and doing what you're doing now. So don't hold a grudge. And then another reason why I don't hold a grudge, because forgiveness is a powerful tool. Yes, mm -hmm. it is. It's a powerful tool, not for the person, but it's for you. I have learned that, and I've seen it. You can see bitterness. Mm. You can see it on people. You can see anger on people to a degree, and you can really see resentment. Mm -hmm. But if you let it go, Pastor says it all the time, take them off your hook and put them on God's mm -hmm. hook. Now, the word says, vengeance is mine, says the Lord. So you really shouldn't have no wrath. Mm -hmm. You really, you can't afford to have anything because the same wrath you have for somebody else, now, God said he'll use that same thing against mm -hmm. you. I can't afford that. Mm -hmm. I already got enough problems. <laughs> I'm just trying to see the king. That's all I want to do. And in my daily walk and struggle, if I've done anything to mm -hmm. hurt or offend anyone, I am so sorry. Yeah. I am. And it's just almost how you have to just put it because I want that same forgiveness extended Absolutely. to me. Absolutely. Absolutely. And I just when do. You said, I'm going to tell my daddy on you. Ain't mm. going to say your prayers. I got told. Mm -hmm. Tell God what's that's, up. That's it. Mm -hmm. That's it. Then sometimes you have to just, this is me to a T. Sometimes you just have to use humor to release mm. tension. Um, See, I don't like that. I got that. You don't, so that oh, bothers if you. If you try to be funny and I'm angry. That makes you even angrier. <laughs> <laughs> we need to pray Help for you. <laughs> I, wish we, I wish we had an altar in here. No, <laughs> no, don't do that. Some don't oil. do that, oh, yes, because right. you're asking for it. Yeah. Then you're really oh, no, no, no. I don't want anybody to smile. I don't want anybody to this look. This ain't a playing match. I want everybody to understand this is a serious situation right here. Okay. Anything might so happen. So, with the exception of <laughs> Ebony. Right. <laughs> we just let you use a little humor to release tension. I'm going to say a prime example. So, I remember uh, when I was married and one time I was angry. Both of us was angry. Mm -hmm. And I, I was there. And I said, you want something to eat? And this is something about food. Yeah. yeah. That just kind of, because you, you both need it. Mm -hmm. You know, you, you always need something to eat. It's nourishing to your soul, to your body. It's renewing. Mm -hmm. And it gives you energy, all kind of stuff. So it kind of helps get your mind off something. Mm -hmm. You want some to eat. Let's yeah. Then you go get some to eat. You I go like some to eat. And it starts to just kind of break the mood you're a good, and talk. You're a good man. Yeah, but even though, you know, it is what it is. So things worked out the way it is. And y'all laughed. Y'all anyway, laughed, laughed about yeah. the food. So. <laughs> And that's what it that's was. That's a good deal. I like yeah. that. So you got to find triggers. And then when you know the triggers, then you do the opposite. Because mm -hmm. maybe yeah. you didn't mean to upset the person. Correct. But right. if you did, then you find that rebuttal or you find something to come back from that. Mm -hmm. And it's all kind of ways. to. But you don't win an argument. And that's what I want to dispel exactly. that. Arguing, there is no winners. Mm -hmm. So you could say the meanest, nastiest, hurtful thing. Uh -oh. But you do not win an argument. Yeah. Nobody wins. Because think about wow. it, you said a lot of things, you can't get back, mm -hmm. you probably hurt somebody deeper than they needed to be hurt. Correct, you right. You, you right. have wounded somebody, and I know oh. even being married before, in that marriage, and you've been married before too, mm -hmm. and you remember certain things that you just don't ever yeah. want to deal with again. Mm -hmm. So knowing that, Right. Why would you do that to somebody else? Mm -hmm. So it kind of makes you rethink that thing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And if it's kind of like where experiences are really teachers. Yes. And mm -hmm. you have to learn from your past mistakes yes. to move forward to know what bothers you and to know what you don't need. Mm -hmm. So you know what you do need, Correct. which is generally the opposite. So, you know, so sometimes hum humor can help mm -hmm. to release the tension if that's the type of person you're dealing with. Not with me, though. <laughs> not, not with and then. Uh, <laughs> Practice relaxation skills. So when I say that, mm -hmm. sometimes you just go to the other room and just breathe. Mm -hmm. You just gotta breathe or go to the gym, take mm -hmm. a walk. Mm -hmm. 
right. you know, do something to get out of that setting mm -hmm. well, at that particular time. And if you can't remove yourself, even emotionally from it, I found, which um, Reverend Brown, mm -hmm. what name, Ruby Drew. Brown? Reverend Brown, uh, Ruby Brown, the UCB? Yes, yeah. yes. Yeah. She was teaching a Sunday school class, Praying with Power. Yeah. And one of the things she taught us was to write a letter. And sometimes you just get it out on paper. And that, again, is time away. And you're thinking through. Mm -hmm. And like even with talking it through with somebody else sometimes, just hearing yourself correct, say it. Correct, correct. Nah, you know, as a matter of fact, I think I might have been wrong. Mm -hmm. You know, you get to hear things or see things that you hadn't considered in the heat of the moment mm -hmm. when you're angry. Yes. Absolutely. Absolutely. Okay. Good point. And um, one thing real quick before I ask two questions, and you don't have to answer them, but I just want everybody to I think about them. Okay. I, yes. Um, so the other one is identify possible solutions. Mm -hmm. So, example, if your partner, your spouse, whoever, kind of always does something that bothers you. Mm -hmm. Find a way to alleviate that. Mm -hmm. I know your kids, if your son doesn't clean his room and that makes you mad, mm -hmm. close his door. Sometimes you just have to do something to keep from clocking all the way out. And that's a way to dispel your anger. Now, I know that doesn't work was, with us as like, black people that sounds sometimes. So, that sounded so <laughs> wonderful, dripping from the lips of a non-parent, didn't it? Close the door at my house so that I don't have to see the mess that you have. Oh, it no. was a suggestion. Yes, it was. Yes, it it was, was a suggestion. <laughs> uh, so two questions, hypothetically speaking, and then we'll get ready to close out. Do I deal with my anger and frustrations or do I suppress them? Mm -hmm. Just think about it. Do I deal with my anger and frustrations or do I suppress them? Okay. Have I considered how I can express my anger without hurting others? Mm -hmm. mm. <laughs> Have I considered Deliverance. how I can express my anger without hurting others? Now ask those questions just for you to think to yourself because one thing about being angry and overcoming anything, but especially something like this, it's all about self-reflection. Mm -hmm. it and it's all about what you know because you know your triggers. Yes. Everybody doesn't know them. Some people that are close to you may know some of them, but only you know mm -hmm. what truly, those idiosyncrasies, Correct. those things about you that you can't stand, those things that bother you, that people say they get mm -hmm. close to you, uh, only you know those things. Mm -hmm. So self-reflection is so important when it comes to any of this. Mm -hmm. You have to self-reflect. If you want to understand anger and understand your anger, you have to be self-reflective. Mm -hmm. You have to understand what it is that has, is bothering you. What it is, if you don't get to the root of your anger, that's why you can't suppress it. Because mm -hmm. when you suppress it, it doesn't go anywhere. And it grows. It grows. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Because some of the stuff you can suppress because it's small stuff. No correct, sweat the correct. small stuff. Yeah. It's not going to, uh, let's fast forward 10 years, is it going to matter that yeah. he chose a red bed spread and I really wanted a blue comfort. Right. Is that going to matter? Mm -hmm. I try to think ahead. Okay. And so he got to choose bed spread. I'm going to get to do the carpet. Mm -hmm. Something, you know, just think a compromise yeah. in your mind yeah. and don't read too much into it. Mm -hmm. And then when I say suppress it, if something truly bothers you, Correct. is what I mean. In so if something is bothering you and it changes you and it hurts you, mm -hmm. just like if someone was to speak illy to me and I know that's something that I can't take mm -hmm. and that I can't deal with, I cannot hold that in. Mm -hmm. I have to no. discuss that. Yes. I have to talk about yes. it. So we've asked those questions. Uh, we are about out of time. Okay. I just want to say that I've enjoyed this conversation. Yeah, Again, I am getting to know you ladies so much just just better every time we get together and I appreciate it so I just want to say thank you all for listening and tune in to Let's Rap I hope you continue to watch this show this whole platform great shows uh, great hosts uh, we do this every week and uh, we thank God for innovative and uh, just intelligent pastor mm -hmm. uh, for coming up with this ideal in the first place mm -hmm. and we could not thank him enough for the opportunity as host so we'll say a word of prayer and then we'll get ready to mm -hmm. go Let's wrap, working on righteous and just processes. Mm -hmm. Father God, thank you for this day. Thank you for being good and thank you for blessing us, God. Forgive us when we are not slow to anger, oh, yes, God. God. Forgive us when we don't 
use self-control. Mm -hmm. God, and forgive us for those times when we let our tongue hmm. speak for us instead of letting our heart yes. guide us, God. Thank you for your goodness and your mercy. We ask for forgiveness for those times, God. Please forgive us, God. And then let us forgive others who have treated us whatever kind of way or another and let it go and take them off our hook and put them on your hook, God. God, thank you for your goodness and your thank mercy. You, thank you for everyone who is watching the show today. Thank you, thank you for these beautiful ladies that are my co-hosts. God, thank you for our lives. We ask that you bless everything that we all touch. And God, continue to bless us both collectively and individually. Mm -hmm. Thank you for this show, thank this you, platform, this opportunity to show people righteous and just processes. Mm -hmm. And that is so easy to yes. just love you mm -hmm. and love others like you have loved us. God, thank you so much for loving us. Mm -hmm. We thank you that it was nothing that we did in order for you to do it. And God, it's nothing that we can do to make you stop mm -hmm. loving us. So thank you for being God on today. Mm -hmm. In Christ Jesus' name, we pray. And it's all these things this day. Amen. 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 That's a wrap. That's a wrap. <laughs>